Did you know that Golden from K-Pop Demon Hunters is mathematically golden? Woo! Look at these numbers! They're off the charts! Yeah, it's true, and here's the proof. First, we need to talk about what it means to be mathematically golden, and for that, we need to talk about the golden ratio. 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 The golden ratio comes from something called the Fibonacci sequence, where you start with 1, 1, and then add the two previous numbers to get a new number. And if you keep going, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and so on, and so on. And so on, and so on. But what's What's truly amazing is that the ratio of these numbers starts approaching this magical golden ratio of 0.618, and if you draw circular arcs connecting the opposite corners of these squares, you get this spiral, which is found in nature in seashells, hurricanes, and even our own galaxy. And because this ratio is natural, it's called the golden ratio for the way it feels just right to us. It's used in art and design because it's believed to be fundamental to our perception of beauty, even in pieces of music. People have discovered that in music, sometimes there is a big shift in the song at roughly the golden ratio, or 61.8% of the way into the song's duration. And because the golden ratio is also known by the Greek letter phi, these moments in songs are called phi moments. This phi moment calculator lists three known examples of phi moments in popular songs. In Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild, in Stevie Wonder's Superstition, and in Queen's and David Bowie's Under Pressure. So where's the phi moment in Golden? First of all, I'm not looking at the phi moment of the song's single, which is played on the radio, but of the song as it's used in the film K-Pop Demon Hunters, because that is where the song is telling a story, and also where the meaning of the phi moment comes into play. Now if you start at Golden's intro, and then time how long it takes to get to the end of the song, which I'm calling when Rumi stops singing. You get a time of 2 minutes and 31 seconds. If you enter 2 minutes and 31 seconds into our handy 5 moment calculator, you get a time of 1 minute and 33 seconds. Now if we go back to the song and pinpoint what happens in the song at 1 minute and 33 seconds, we find this exact spot. excited to show you what's next. The Phi moment lands exactly as the song goes from the loud, bombastic chorus into the soft, introspective bridge. What's next? It's the transition from external confidence to internal doubt, and it's also the first time we learn that Rumi herself has demon patterns. Now what does that tell us about the song? Well, in Born to be Wild, Superstition, and Under Pressure, the Phi moments come at the climactic high points. But in Golden, we get the lowest of low points. In other words, the lyrics of the song may be saying that Rumi is golden, but the song is actually telling us that Rumi is far from it. In fact, that's exactly what happens a minute later when she's flustered and unable to finish the song. It's a perfect example of how subtext works in music. So much subtext. It's the message behind the message. While Golden is an empowering pop anthem on the radio, the real message of the song in the film is that Rumi will need to address her flaws and overcome them, which is what happens in the song This Is What It Sounds Like, which I promise to break down in a future video. So please subscribe subscribe so you don't miss that one. Thanks to all my patrons on Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Peace.